everyone, Elizabeth Bethany here again, and I'm here to give you the first edition of my weekly wrap-up video blog. Basically, every weekend I'm just going to come back here, tell you the 10 best stories that I posted last week, and then you can go back and look more in-depth throughout the page, because I'm not going to give you everything. You have to go back and get the full effect of lovelizbethany.com for yourself. But I will present to you the highlights, and then that way, if you missed anything but didn't realize it, you know what to go back and look for. All you're going to do is go over here, there's a list of dates, and then you're just going to click on the week that I'm talking about, which today happens to be January 11th through January 17th. One of the earliest posts that I had was on um, the 10 worst drunks. It's a list of all those people that you don't want to be around when you're drinking. You know those people who want to be your best friend, but they always have something going on, so they need a shoulder to cry on that night when you're trying to have a good time. Or maybe you're just looking to chill out with your friends, and then the next thing you know, someone's trying to wrestle you to the ground because he's hammered and needs to be all macho man. Or there's always that person who, just because you won't take one more shot with them, they're going to call you a D-bag, or they're going to say you're gay, or whatever. Nobody wants to be around any of those people. Oh, and did I mention lugs? Seriously, girls, there's no need for you to get hammered and then go make out with every girl. Guys, shoot me for saying it. I don't care. It's just not necessary. But anyways, check out all ten back on last week's blog post. And also, we had a video of um, animals doing crazy things. You know I love posting those, so I had two of those for last week. First one was maybe one of my favorites, and it was monkeys riding bicycles. Yeah real bicycles with no training wheels. They literally jumped on the bikes and started riding around in circles. I couldn't believe it. I had to watch it at least three times before I could tell that they really were riding bikes on their own. I mean, you could tell, but I didn't believe it. My eyes didn't want to believe it. They got on their little bikes and ran, pushed off, and then jumped on and kept riding around. Tons of monkeys doing this by themselves. I'm amazed. I love it. And then there was also a typical cat video, of course. One video, tried, the cat tried to go up the stairs, but it wasn't normally how a cat would go or how you and I would go. I tried to do a little bit of acrobatics, if you will, with it, but go back, check it out. And also with that post, there's a compilation of a bunch of funny cat videos, which may be the best cat video you'll ever see. It also claims that it's that, I don't know if I want to boost up whoever's created this, I don't, whatever, but it's good. You're going to laugh a lot, so check it out. We also had a couple, couple, couple alerts, and one featured hookups that we wouldn't exactly imagine happening before we found out last week. And, well, one of them, I'm not going to give you all, but one included Madonna and Bobby Brown. Yeah, the Queen of Pop hooked up with Bobby Brown. And this was before she was the Queen of Pop. This was back when she was opening up for him in New Edition. Um, one of his security guards went into the limo and found them two hooking up in the back of the limo. Wow. I can't even imagine that. It's kind of weird to me, but I guess it was before he went crazy and Whitney Houston and drugs and, well, you know his story. I don't need to tell it all. But, yeah, that happened. And then there was also a crazy video of a Japanese game show. We all know that they come up with the randomest things that we would never think of in the United States, which is why we like to use them for parodies and whatever. But this one game took, made a human slip and slide. So, yeah. They lubed up a guy who seemed kind of old, it was kind of creepy, but they lubed him up with oil and then they laid out a ton of girls in bikinis. And then he just ran and slid on the girls in bikinis and see how, tried to see how far he could go. Well, at first it didn't really work, it took a couple times, then he actually was like pulling himself and like grabbing their crotch creeper, by the way, but it was kind of interesting and then next thing you know there's sponges going down his pants and water balloons and then they're tickling him. It's yeah, that sounds kind of like a porn, but it's interesting. Definitely worth checking out. There's also a new invention, which I need ASAP. It's called the Loud and Clear, and it's for all of you creepers out there. And don't sit here and say you're not a creeper, because everyone Facebook stalks. Everyone, you know, checks away messages all the time, wants to know what their friends are doing, texts, whatever. And if you don't do any of that, which I don't believe, but you know that in a couple pictures people have taken, you've been, like, peeking up through the back, like, oh, and then maybe even getting tagged on Facebook as the creeper. But anyways, you know, I won't say you're something if you're not. But what this loud and clear thing does is amplifies all the sound around you. So if you're standing outside getting your mail and your neighbors are down the street, you know, having a conversation, you can hear what they're saying. Or, you know, if you're in church, apparently you can hear everything in church. It's just really cool. I'd love to have one of those in and just, like, go sit somewhere and hear everybody talking, whether it's about me or just in general. I love people watching. 
and this could only make people watching way better. Seriously, if anybody wants to buy me one, I'm right here. Just send it my way. There's also a list, not a list, uh, a port, uh, I'm, I'm blinking, I'm sorry, forgive me. There was 10 pictures of street art that I posted, and okay, it's graffiti, it's illegal, but it looks really cool, and they should legalize it just because of how cool these pictures look. And you need to check them out because I can't even explain how neat they are, but seriously, whoever is in charge of making graffiti legal, do it soon, <laughs> so that we can have more of these things looking around. But make it so only pros can do it, because obviously we don't want random gang signs everywhere, that doesn't help the piece any. Um, there was also, everyone knows that Ellen DeGeneres is like my girl, if, if I knew her, we'd be best friends. Maybe we are even our best friends, who knows. Anyways, she had on six-year-old Brant Bickford, who is a solar system expert apparently, but really he just has a lot of interesting things to say. He was talking about his 26-year-old girlfriend. Yeah, apparently he really has a 26-year-old girlfriend. And he said how he got her was through the inchworm, so you know, the dance. So Ellen had him do it on stage for everybody, and let's just say, if you don't know how to do the worm, you need to look at this video and learn how, because he'll definitely teach you how to uh, win every dance contest that you'll ever be entered into. Check it out. Seriously. Right now. Alright, and we all know that sex sells, and every time that I put anything up about sexual whatever, um, I know everybody goes and checks it out. So first of all, I've told you guys before about the 22-year-old who's trying to sell her virginity. She's auctioning off her virginity to put her way through college. Well, the bidding has gone up to $3.7 million. That's a lot of money to pay just to have sex with somebody, just to take their V-card. And we don't even know if she really has it. Why are people doing this? And a college education is what she's getting from it? I don't know about you. I'm out of state tuition right now, and I'm not paying anywhere near $3.7 million, even if I was here for like five more years. So I hope she's getting something good, like super, the best education ever out of this. I don't know. And finally, the number one story I'm going to go ahead and save the week because you guys have been coming up and saying, you know, thank you for posting this story. Well, it was a nip slip. So if you're not 18, don't go and check it out. But if you are a big kid, you can go and check it out. Let's just say it's a hottie. It's not an Amy Winehouse character or anything. And she was walking on the beach, and her microphone from her reality TV show, hint, hint, kind of made her bathing suit go out of place and exposed everything. So you could use your imagination, or you could go check it out, because I know you want to now. And so you're welcome for putting it up. I'll try to make sure I can get more of those, because I know everybody liked it. And I think that's it for this week. Um, Again, thanks for watching my video blog, and keep checking out everything. I will be back to present to you more stories next week, but of course, throughout, keep reading, keep checking back. I will be updating regularly again, and once again, I want to apologize for my absence that I had for a second. It gets a little hectic. Everybody should understand. But again, thanks for reading lovelizbethany.com. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Love, Elizabethany.